Um, it's universally accepted that digital media and technology has totally disrupted the um, consumer path to purchase. Um, the buyer now today is super informed before they engage a salesperson. And the salesperson's role as one of persuasion has in many situations actually just gone to one of being a pure transactional. Nowhere is this more evident than in the area of B2B marketing. Um, usually as industries, this involves very long, complex path purchase or buying cycles with a small niche group of decision makers. And the role of the sales team was to foster those relationships and to nurture them um, with a very small group. The marketing department was often um, charged with um, lead generation. Um, email and social have been key digital tools um, for a number of years. But there's been increased challenges. The window of influence for the sales team has, has totally changed. And this is predominantly because of the fact that the B2B decision maker is now, according to research from Google, 57% um, along the decision making process before they even engage the sales team. They're consuming more and more content as, as making that decision and um, this is being fueled by the mobile devices, uh, which is really a challenge for B2B marketers in the sense that they now need to have content which is digestible and bite-sized enough, but also um, tells a story in the right sequence at the right time um, to engage their prospects along that path to purchase. Uh, so in 2015, um, we see increased um, need among B2B marketers for more content creation, more social, uh, more bringing together first and third party data um, into one source through maybe marketing automation platforms and dashboarding, um, really to deliver a much better, but more important, much more qualified lead um, to the sales team.